Two three two seven. Doors open. What? Oh, that's creepy. That's definitely creepy. Not as creepy as the voice in the art room, though. Trust me. Midwich High School presents the origin of life. Gaze at the stars and listen as we explain how life as we know it came to be. The Big Bang. Around 20 billion years ago, the universe consisted of nothing but a compact ball of hydrogen, protons, neutrons, electrons, and their antiparticles. Plus radiation. There were no planets or stars. Okay. No suns or galaxies. No people. Five billion years ago, the compact hydrogen soup exploded with huge force and matter shot out in all directions. The universe doubled in size. This expansion of the universe continues today. The explosion caused a great decrease in the density and temperature of the universe and no new particles were formed. Now, particles and antiparticles battled in a frenzy of self-destruction. This left the universe with a much reduced collection of positively charged nuclei and negatively charged electrons in what we call a plasma soup. Oh, wow, isn't this entertaining? In the world today was created in this incredible explosion five billion years ago. Just as life and death rule on the human scale, so are these the forces that dominate on the galactic scale. There it is. See, that's the art room. I went in there the first time because I like art, but oh god. You suck. Wake up and look at my new outfit. XO. And she's giving us the double finger. And why is Dahlia texting us? That's scary. An eternal rose. That's pretty cool. Whoa. I do that so you can read the uh, subtitles, by the way. <laughs> when you start high school, a lot of us, we can't wait to finish and get out there into the real world. But now we're here, now we're done with high school. I bet a lot of us maybe wish we had another year. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like it. We've all made lifelong friends here. Some of us, more than that. I know that some of you couples out there on the dance floor are going to spend the rest of your lives together. Even if you don't end up married to your high school sweetheart, 
I hope you will carry something of your time here in your heart. <laughs> Everyone ready for the last dance? Okay then. Huh. I see a door. Yeah, they're not that obvious. No. Ten fifty three. Dynamic duo, ten thirty one. Ten thirty. That was smooth. All right, there. Hey, yay, yay. Yeah, that ain't helping. All right. Oh, but I wanted that balloon! Aww. Here's to our future. We're never gonna get old. Never gonna be like our parents. Never gonna be apart. That sounded slightly creepy. That just might be me. Everything in this place is creepy. Random green spooge. Random spooge everywhere, okay. Old pictures, old pi Ooh, picture in color. That looks disturbingly like Heather. Okay. I didn't want to stop you, but I'm, uh, I'm looking for the shelter. You're not here for the reunion? No. <laughs> Some party. Me and a guy who wasn't even supposed to be here. Catch. <laughs> Thanks. I like her brown dress better. Michelle Valdez. Harry Mason. Nice to meet you, Harry. So, what brings you here? I'm looking for my daughter. Valley She's textured lace. I convinced myself she'd be here. She's a Midwich student? No, no. She's just seven. Her name is Cheryl. Cheryl Mason? Yeah. There was a Cheryl Mason when I was here. She was above me at school. Really? Must be a different girl, same name. She's seven. I'll show you. Come look. Wow, abrupt change from first person to third. Alright. There you go. That's an old photo. Looks fairly new, you say though. she ran off? No. We were in a car accident. That can't be my daughter. <laughs> I'm 
many Cheryl Masons could there be in a small town like this? Mm -hmm. She even looks like you. There's a resemblance, but my Cheryl's just a kid. You don't sound so sure. Come on. Principal's office? Yep. Locked. But with a little She's a master of unlocking. There's your director's cut joke. You're breaking into the principal's office? I don't see any hall monitors. Ah. Uh. Evening, Mrs. Albright. The cow. She's still around? I remember her. She was when I graduated. I think she'll be here until someone drives a stake through her cold secretarial heart. <laughs> That's the principal's PC. All the school records are on it. Students used to hack it to fix their grades. Hey, I was good at school. Uh huh. Principal Fisher was obsessed with changing his passwords. And we're hacking into his PC to. See if you can pull up the records for Cheryl Mason. Hmm. See if she's your daughter. Prove me wrong. Gladly. Do, get out of here? Sure. Take your time. I'm just gonna text my boyfriend to find out where the hell he is. Okay. Use. Even if you... Okay, watch. I already know what it is. At least I think it's gonna be this one. Because it's usually this one. Even if you know the password beforehand, it won't let you. So you have to click that. My only true four-legged friend. I know pretty much all the answers, but I'll show you. Nikki. Trust me, I've scoured this office like countless times. Alright. My star sign? Not that I believe that crap. <laughs> yep, my star sign. Alright. I'm going to have to look around because I don't know that one. Hasn't thrown that one at me yet. Great. Nothing on there. <sighs> this will be fun. Oh my god. I'm laying on my stomach. I probably should not be, but I am. Oh god, it's 721. November 12th. I'm gonna make random guesses till I get it right, okay? Not in the mood to look around. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna Google it. 
Yes. I'm googling this. <laughs> 